Hi, I'm Bray and this is my partner Adam. We live in a cozy little apartment in New York City with our three cats. We love searching out the hidden gems everywhere we go and we're so excited to bring you along as we open this new chapter of our lives. We would love it if you'd subscribe to our channel and join us on this journey. Hi, I found myself alone this holiday weekend. I'm sick right now. Adam's in Florida visiting his family. And because I'm sick, I can't go to any of the Friendsgivings I was invited to. So we're just chilling at home. It is 1.40. I got a bit of a slower start today than I wanted to. So let's make some breakfast because I'm hungry. I'm going to have what I like to call fancy toast, which is just toast with a fried egg on it and some accoutrement. But it sounds good and it's what I got stuff to cook. So we'll do that. And then later we're going to start working on my Thanksgiving meal which is going to be a pumpkin butternut squash soup. I'm so excited for this. It's been so long since I've made myself a fancy toast. I just kind of fell off. I've been doing oatmeal lately, but this looks so good. I'm so excited to try it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is going to be a good start to my day. I'm gonna watch some trashy television while I eat this, rest a bit, and then we'll get started on soup. I'm about to get started on my dinner, but first I wanna do a few things to kind of prep my space, tidy the kitchen starting with taking out the trash, which I'm realizing you can't see. I almost forgot to take my meds today. I can't have that. Turns out when I went to prep, all of our camera batteries were dead, so I had to let them charge while I prepped but pretty much everything is ready to go, so let me show you what we've got going on. I couldn't find any sugar pumpkins, so I just got a can of pureed pumpkin, and I roasted it at 400 degrees while I prepped everything else. Over here, we have the real stars of the show. We've got potatoes, a whole butternut squash, a couple of different colors of bell peppers, an onion, and all of this is going to go in the oven right now for like 40 minutes to an hour. It's my favorite time, garlic time. We're going to peel this and we're going to put it in here and then we're going to roughly chop some ginger, douse it all in olive oil, throw some dried herbs in because I couldn't get fresh, a little bit of salt and uh, roast it. My music cut out, boo. Here's a fun little trick my friend taught me a couple of years ago. If you squeeze garlic from the top and the bottom, the little jacket will just pop open and it's so much easier to peel. The first head was a little small, so we're breaking into garlic head number two. OK, 
Okay, we are almost done. Now we've got all our vegetables and our aromatics in the oven roasting. I just have to prep kale chips. Usually I would do some crispy chickpeas on top of this, but yesterday my friend gave me some leftover curry nuggets is what she calls them. And I think those will be really, really good on top of this soup. So that'll be my protein and I'll make the chickpeas tomorrow. onto a foil lined sheet and then into the oven. I have almost earned a little break. As soon as the kale chips are done, I will be able to sit and rest while everything roasts. And then it's going to come together very quickly. As far as time is concerned, it's about six o'clock. As soon as this is done, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to head over to my friend's house because I'm watching their cat while they're gone. He needs to be fed, but obviously I can't leave the oven running while I'm gone. So I'm going to finish this up and then we're going to go hang out with him a little bit. Would you look at that. Oh, looks delicious. The soup is ready for blending. I'm so excited. Adam got this for me a few years ago as just a surprise gift and ugh, one of the best things he's ever gotten me. I love it. watching Lucifer because that's what I've been watching and oh Adam's calling me hello hi cousin walk in the car I've eaten I've sat a little bit I've caught up with Adam and his family so now it's time to go feed my friend's little cat. First, I need to put on something just a little bit warmer. bundled up. Hi. You may have noticed we're back in my apartment. I did take the camera with me to my friend's place, but I switched out the batteries right before I went because all of our batteries were dead earlier and I thought they were charging and they weren't. So when I got to my friend's apartment and I tried to turn the camera on, it was dead. I had a bit of a rough evening. Um, I could not get my friend's door to lock. So anyway, today I learned that I am too weak and hypermobile to live in a building that is a hundred years old. And now we're gonna get in bed and watch a little TV on our projector setup and then go to sleep. I'm not even gonna lie to you, it is, <laughs> it's 12.30, so good afternoon. I'm pretty sleepy. Um, I'm just gonna make the same breakfast I made yesterday, so. You've already seen what that looks like. Um, and then I'm going to get ready and we're going to go check on my friend's cat, spend a little bit of time with him, make sure he's eating and has water. And then I think we'll come back here and do some crafting. I'm excited. All right, I'll see you in a bit. As you can see, I have made it to my friend's house. We're here with the baby. He's been fed, he's been watered, and now he's snuggling in his little baby bed. 
I am having a bit of, oh boy, like kind of hive-like irritation. And I think it's because their rug is wool and I'm allergic to wool. So some fibers must be kicked up in the air or something, but yikes, that does not look great. Okay, I'm gonna hang out with the baby now. Here is the baby. Hello, baby. He's a little upset I'm not his mom, but he is accepting the pets. Isn't that right, baby boy? I have to brush the boy's teeth. <coughs> I know. Didn't let me get the teethies. I know. He does not want this. Oh. I know. <coughs> I'm doing my best. Your mommy asked me to. An attempt was made. We're back home. My face seems to have calmed down a little bit since getting away from the whole rug, which is nice. I'm pretty tired. I am debating on just ordering a pizza. Even though I have soup, I'm probably going to make soup, but pizza sounds really good. Maybe I'll have like a little bit of soup and then also order pizza. I don't know, I can't decide. I think let's make soup. So we're going to make our crispy chickpeas. Then I might have to clean the kitchen. No, I don't. I just need like one pan and a bowl. Okay, I have food. We're gonna eat the food that I have. Cheers. Mm. It's always better the second night. I forgot pepper. Oh man, those chickpeas turned out great too. I'm going to keep watching Lucifer while I eat this. I'm so excited. I'm glad I cooked and didn't order pizza. There's always time to order pizza later. The other night when I was picking up my friend's keys because I'm watching their cat, she gave me a milk bun from the Boxu subscription that Adam and I got for her birthday. I've never had one of these, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna eat it with a fork because it's kind of warm and I don't want it to be too hot. I'm sure that's the incorrect way to be eating this, but that's that's what I'm going to do. Mmm. Okay. It's like, it's like the taste of a grocery store birthday cake at your friend's birthday party when you were growing up. But the texture of the bun is so much softer than that. But the icing on the inside tastes like that grocery store icing, but in like a really good nostalgic way. Mmm. I think it's bedtime. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I finally pulled myself out of bed. I ordered some ramen for breakfast because I saw someone on TikTok making ramen and it looked so good. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I love soup. I will eat soup at any point during the day. We've got to do something about the kitchen. I didn't do any cleaning yesterday because I was really tired. So my trade-off was I order breakfast and I clean the kitchen while it comes so that later I can make the dough for my little clay stars that I want to make and I will need the kitchen to be cleaned for that. So. Let's clean up this mess. I mean, it really is an issue. All right, so we are not completely done, but the first load is in, but it's looking so much better than it was earlier. My breakfast ramen is here. It looks so good. I am going to devour this and then we'll get started on crafting. Yay. I ate my ramen. It was absolutely delicious. Now it's time to get started on a project. So I saw this really cute video on Instagram for this like clay star garland. So I think that I'm gonna try making it because I think that it would look really good on our tree. First we have to make the dough, which will have to cool for a little bit. So we're going to get started on that. It's 
looking ready. All right, now that we've got our dough all ready to go, we're going to let it cool. I just tried to pick up this bowl by the sides and it was very hot, I should have known better. So as you can see, I've kind of squished the dough up along the sides of the bowl so that it's got a better like surface area, so hopefully it cools faster. If it takes too long to cool, I'm just gonna pop it in the fridge for a little bit, but we're going to give it like half an hour and see if it comes down to room temperature and then we will reassess. It's a really pleasant texture, now we're going to Put it out and eat it. first batch of 126 stars is in the oven. It will be in there for an hour or two while the clay fully dries out. Once that's done, it's cured and it shouldn't like get moldy or anything. I should be able to store it for years. I'm not going to make any more stars until I see how this batch comes out. Now we wait. I've always been more partial to homemade holiday decor than I have to store-bought decor. And if you can't tell, I'm on a bit of a star kick this year. I had initially thought that I was going to do like paper snowflakes this year. I was like, oh, what if I did origami stars? So I bought silver and gold origami paper. This was my first attempt. It went really well, as you can see. And this was my second attempt, which went way better. And now I've gotten to the point where they're pretty much perfect. and I'm super happy with them. So let's go ahead and make a couple more stars while we wait on our other stars to bake. I did order a pizza tonight and it looks so good, like way better than it usually does. Look at that. Oh, mm, I cannot wait to eat this. I've just pulled the stars out of the oven. They seem like they've done pretty well. I'm going to let them cool and then I'm going to try to snap a few of them to see if they got brittle. I am so stuffy right now. Uh, back to Lucifer. Adam is on his flight home. He'll be here in a few hours. I'm so excited. So until then, it's Duolingo time. Le pot. Adam's home. home that means that's the end of this vlog so I'll see you next time bye